everybody, this is Scott White and Givewitz from Photocrati and Next Gen Gallery. Today I want to talk to you about JPEG Mini Pro. JPEG Mini is software that uses patented image optimizing technology to reduce the file size of your photos up to 80% while preserving their full resolution and quality. And what's really cool about JPEG Mini Pro, aside from the fact that you can just drag and drop images and compress them in bulk, you can actually use, in, in JPEG Mini Pro, you can actually use their Adobe Lightroom plugin and use that in your photography workflow. And what's even better is that you can use it in conjunction with the Next Gen Gallery export plugin for Adobe Lightroom created by Alloy Photo. That means that photographers can actually completely um, sort of automate the, the upload and uh, process to Next Gen Gallery right from Adobe Lightroom without leaving, and you can compress your images. So here are the settings in my Adobe Lightroom for my uh, Next Gen Export plugin, and you can see here I've got all the all the, everything set here. But then, if you go down to the bottom, you actually see that the JPEG Mini Pro um, field is in here. The module is in here. So any images that I upload to my website from within here not only going right to my next-gen gallery, but they're also optimized using um, some of the best compression available for your images. Now, if you are not using Lightroom, don't, don't fret. Um, you can actually use JPEG Mini and still upload to next-gen gallery. However, um, you, know, the, um, you know, the process is a little different because you're not using Adobe Lightroom. So let me open up JPEG Mini Pro so you can see what I mean. So here we are, this is JPEG Mini Pro. There's literally no settings for you to have to change. The only thing you have to do is take your images. So here's a folder of images and just as a good example, 12 megabytes for this one image right here. So um, I am going to drag this one over here so you can see that uh, it will compress it down. Okay, I'm gonna leave this open as well. I don't know if that's gonna change live, but I'm gonna drag it here. I'm gonna see it's gonna do its thing going to uh, it takes a little bit longer the bigger the image of course but you can see that it actually if actually if you looked on the screen it jumped down from 12 megabytes to 4.6 megabytes now this image is actually a straight out of camera from a Nikon D800 um, it was a raw image I exported from Lightroom as a full-size JPEG so it was a 12 megabyte JPEG that shrunk down or compressed down to 4.6 megabytes without any image quality loss in fact um, JPEG Mini, and you'll see a video on the screen, JPEG Mini, you can actually print from these too, which is pretty freaking cool that you can print from this uh, and not really see a big difference, if any difference. So what is great about JPEG Mini Pro uh, and JPEG Mini in general is that I can take all these images and just drag them all into the file, into the software, and it will just compress them all. Again, the bigger the file size, the longer it'll take, but it is pretty quick considering. Look how fast that's going once it figures out the way JPEG Mini works is the algorithms actually look at each photo and it compresses each photo individually from each other. It's not going to compress them all in one shot just blindly. It's actually going to look at what can be compressed and what shouldn't be compressed and it's going to just do it from that. So um, you can see it's it's cranking away and look how many how many megabytes it's saved so far from this. 240 megabytes. That's That's a lot of space it saved. So far, it's reduced by two, two and a half times. Um, so JPEG Mini is fantastic. There's three versions. There's a free version, which lets you do up to 20 photos, and you're limited to, I believe, 25 or 28 megabyte, uh, megapixel photos. Um, so you can do 20 photos a day using JPEG Mini, the free version. Then there's JPEG Mini, the regular version, which has the same um, megapixel limit of 25, 28, whatever it is, but you have unlimited photos that you can compress using that. And then there's JPEG Mini Pro, which has uh, unlimited, you know, again, unlimited compression, uh, how, how much, how many you can do in, in a day, you're, there's no limit. But at the same time, you can actually compress up to 50 megapixel images. So um, really, JPEG Mini Pro has endless options. And JPEG Mini Pro also comes with the Adobe Lightroom um, plugin. So there you go. JPEG Mini Pro, um, definitely check that out. It is fantastic. Use it in your Next Gen Gallery workflow. Use it before you upload your images to Next Gen Gallery because now your images are compressed um, 
for web. Beautifully done. You don't need to use the next gen resize um, depending on how big you want your images to, to display, of course. So next gen mini, uh, sorry, JPEG mini pro, check it out.